amazing Freddy Perez. You guys think we're at a circus or something? <laughs> All right, what's he gonna perform? Well, welcome. You know, I'm a little, I'm a little thrown off because uh, I expected a bunch of new realtors here. Do I need to use a microphone? Please, they're recording. It's more fun that way. Swing my hands. Okay. But I expected uh, a lot of new realtors here. But so, by a show of hands, who's been in the business less than one year? Okay, how about uh, three or more years you've been in the business? Five? Ten? Who here has walked out of, w without getting a contract signed and was glad that they did? Okay, and then somebody in your office took it and they were <laughs> losing hair over for four months. You're like, mm-hmm. Told you, right? Okay, cool. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. But also, I, like I said, I was under the impression that this was for a bunch of new realtors, even though I'm glad to see everybody is here. So my material is going to be, well, Rhonda gave me 45 minutes, and this was my one shot, because some of them would not be in the, will not be in the business in the year, okay? And some of them I'll never do a deal with, and some of them I might. So it's important to me that for 45 minutes of their lives and our lives, we can connect and I can relate what I'm passionate about. You guys down for that, yes or no? Okay, so let's go. Okay? And, by the way, I created this PowerPoint. I'm in between assistants right now. So if something's misspelled or something doesn't go right, get over it. There's bigger things to worry about. Okay? Okay. So the key topics we're going to cover today is the power of creating great habits. Okay? We're also going to talk about creating and following a schedule, which is probably one of my favorite things. Your database is your business, okay? This is a key one, okay? So who here has a database management system, web-based, that they use? Raise your hand, okay? Who here has a Rolodex? <laughs> who here knows what the hell a Rolodex is? <laughs> you guys don't. Huh? What, but you know what? Database is important because even in a Rolodex, and you may have the Brian Buffini, Mike Ferry, whatever the latest technology is, you may have that, but a guy with the Rolodex that just gets his stuff done every day is gonna out-hustle you and outsell you every year, year in and year out, guaranteed, because it's taking action, okay? So you are a business, okay? You're self-employed, but you're a business, and we're gonna get into more a little bit about what it means to be a business and a proud business owner. Okay? And my favorite is personal development. Okay? Always working on yourself harder than on anything else. Reading books, going to seminars. Why are, the, why are these successful people here right now? Okay? And I bet you they go to regional trainings. I bet you they go national. Some of them even international if there were some of the bigger chains. Okay? So, there you go. See? First, first little mishap. But the power of creating great habits, all right? So let's talk about it. You create your habits, and then your habits create you. How long does it take to create a habit? Who knows? 21 days. 30. 30. 21. 21, okay. So scripts, role play, daily. So let's show our hands here again. Who, who, who the scripts or role play at least once a week? All right. Okay, two times a week? Three times a week? Okay. It's a <laughs> daily thing. This is your craft. Okay? This is the business that you're in. And if you're not going to practice and prepare yourself for a situation that you know is going to come up, is it not? Every kind of objection at a listing you can get, there's an objection handling script for it. Already set. Already there. You don't have to invent it. This isn't a business where you come in and you go, all right, what am I going to do? I'm going to invent it. You, you don't have to invent anything. It's already been done at a high level by a lot of people and a lot of great people in this community as well. Four years, okay? So you gotta plug yourself in, learn the scripts, role play daily with different people, change it up, not the same person that has the same personality. Get somebody that's, that's catty in there that's gonna wanna kick you out the door. See if you can stay in that door for a little bit, that's fine, okay? Well, for me it is, I don't know about you guys. So, another great habit is the number one habit lead generating daily, okay? That was great stuff that Tamara shared with us. And that's a great way to generate business nowadays. A lot of people that I know are doing it. 
with Zillow, Trulia, Facebook, whatever, a lot of stuff, right? There's a lot of different vehicles in which you can build a database with, but you have to lead generate daily. Okay, what kind of business is real estate? People business, right? No, right, okay, so we have to lead generate daily. If you don't lead generate in one day to me, you didn't do business that day. You had the day off, okay? You are the talent. How much are you valuing yourself hourly? And why are we doing $9 an hour tasks all day and go home with the checklist, look, babe, look at everything I did. They're like, everything a 15 year old could have done and you could have been in the face of people. You could have been out there getting more business. You could have been networking, communicating, connecting. So lead generation is something that needs to be done every single day. No matter where you go, your name badge, your business card, everything. You're lead generating. People are watching you. Is this the type of person I want to be in relationship with? Would I trust them with $300,000 of my money? Okay? So lead generation, every single day you have to lead generate. And you either have time or money. You decide which one you have more of right now. And as I designed this, this talk, it was aimed towards newer agents, so what do they have more of? Time. Time. They're excited, man, I'm getting in. Some of you are getting in, you just had a child, you want to get back on, you're tired of being home. Maybe you just had a, a, a divorce, a split, you want to motivate yourself, challenge yourself to do something great. <coughs> this is your opportunity. But if you're not doing the critical things that it takes to develop a strong business, you'll be out of business quickly. And you say, ah, it wasn't for me. Well, it took me four months to get a license. I'm glad they're making it tougher to get a license. Who else is? Not the new ones. They're like, no, no, it was over. <laughs> no, because the, where, what other business can you, with four months and a couple thousand dollars, if that, of an investment, have the opportunity to make as much as an attorney, a doctor, right off the bat, right off the bat, okay? So lead generation. We are in a lead generation business. Without leads, there's no escrows. Without escrows, there's no closings. Without closings, you don't get a paycheck. And without that, good luck paying your bills, okay? Are you guys negative enough right now? We're gonna get positive again, okay? And, or, or are you negative enough? <laughs> so do not entertain negativity, okay? This is the water cooler chatter, right? You guys have all heard that. Everybody on websites, they shouldn't be on throughout the day. Dude, check this out. Did you see this, bro? Okay? No, I didn't. Because I'm doing this. And because right now on my schedule, it's time to do this. Okay? It, there's so many distractions right now. It's not just when, when ERA came into, you know, when ERA was created, it was electronic real estate. You guys know that? No. Electronic real estate. The fax machine. They were ahead of the game, right? Ron, that's what happened with ERA? The fax machine. That changed the game, right? That changed the game. Well, the game has changed at a higher level than that every six months now in real estate. Something new is coming up, okay? So you can really get your attention distracted from, from what you should be doing if you're not careful. So laying the foundation and doing these key aspects of developing the great habits is the most important thing. Because then you're gonna be blaming the technology that you're using because it's not good enough, okay? You're even gonna be blaming your clients who you haven't communicated with in two years and they used your friend now. Oh, well, I didn't even know if you were in the business or not. Well, you didn't see my post on Facebook? Uh, I don't know. Like she said, when did you post it? Maybe I didn't see it, but nothing came to my house. I haven't heard from you. I didn't receive a cool gift card or anything, right? And we'll talk about that too. So do not.